Hello there and welcome to the shop. So in today's video we're going to do quite a few things. We're going to tune Mark 3 into this newly finished CNC router. So we're going to check the steps allocated to the motors and drivers and we're also going to set the soft limits and then we're going to probe the surface of the table and find out how much needs to be skimmed off, the, you know, the minimal amount that needs to be skimmed off to make this perfectly flat. But before we can actually skim this flat, we have to tram the spindle. That, that isn't that complicated. All you really need is a DTI gauge. Now these are very handy, they're not that expensive. Now it normally, now a DTI gauge normally comes on a, what they call a mag mount, like this, uh, and this, this arm comes in two pieces, uh, a big spring clip, and it's mounted on here. Well, you can very easily use this uh, to do all the measurements uh, that I've just mentioned as in seeing how to flat the table is and also to more importantly tram the spindle to make sure it's absolutely square to the table and the gantry and everything else. If you're not trammed correctly um, and you're going to try and skim this flat or any piece of material flat for that matter now I use a big two inch flat cutter like that. Now if it's angled slightly, even if it's just a couple of thousandths of an inch, you're going to leave a, like a tapered cut all the way through your work. Uh, not recommended. So we're going to set all that up correctly and then last we're going to skim the table flat Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is just take the, the head or the axes somewhere closer to the, uh, to the homing switches. Otherwise we'd be waiting 10 minutes for it to get there. Okay, here we go. Somewhere near. Okay, let's uh, ref all. Okay, then turn the soft limits off. Okay, so now it's homed. I'm going to take a measurement now off the side of the Z axis uh, back plate here uh, to see how much travel I have. Um, Absolute travel is eight hundred and forty three, which is um, nearly thirty three and a quarter inches. So I'm going to do two things here. I'm going to I'm going to see whether the the steps that I've put in for the stepper motors uh, is accurate because the long the longer travel that you can use and check uh, to see whether the DROs in Mark III are registering the same of, as the actual travel, uh, you know, the better. Um, you know, doing it over 50 millimeters or even, you know, sort of a foot is okay, but the longer 
travel you can do it over, the more accurate you can get the, the steps. So, in Mac 3, I'm going to set this at 835. Uh, and incidentally, even with this new screen, it's done exactly the same way. So it's up to config, home and limits, and you can see there I've put uh, 835 in there for the x-axis. Now, I've got the soft limits turned on, so all I'm going to do is press uh, shift for 100% uh, movement of the axes and uh, well we'll soon find out whether it's reading true <laughs> That seems to be reading quite well, actually. What do we got there? We've got about uh, eight millimeter, is that? And that would indicate that it's actually reading perfectly. In actual fact, I think I can squeeze a few more millimeters out of that. So I'm just gonna back it off a little. I'm just going to go into config, uh, home and limits. I'm going to squeeze a few more, a couple more millimeters out of that. So I'm going to go 838.0 and press enter. Okay, that just gives me a couple more millimeters. It might come in useful. Okay, let's test that. I think that's just fine. Yeah, that'll be fine. I'm happy with that. That's pretty well maximum travel there. so I've set the DTI gauge up in the spindle, tightened it up, so I'm just going to fetch this down now and um, take it down further about a millimetre past the zero um, and then I can probe the whole bed to find out well the high spots and the low spots. So uh, I've altered the jog setting to 1% which is a nice manageable speed so we'll take it down That's close enough to zero, I think. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is change the machine coordinates to uh, the job offset. Uh, and I'm going to zero, or zero them all. It doesn't really matter. We're already concentrating on the Z, the Z zero. So, the Z, Z is zero and also we've z zeroed the DTI gauge uh, and reading the figures off here we can tell exactly what part is high and what part is lower. Incidentally uh, to alter the jog setting you come here to plus or minus the jog setting or you can highlight this and write in you know whatever percentage you require. Uh, you know, I find this uh, very convenient. Um, it's all on one screen with this screen set. Okay, so let's. Uh, okay, so let's probe around the table. Okay, so take your time doing this. So we lift up. So the DTI gauge is clear. We don't want to damage our DTI gauge. And. 
about the centre there and then we'll drop it down till our gauge reads pretty well zero. I mean, you know, that's within half a thou, or less than half a thou there. And I'll just bring you up onto the screen and show you how much it's out. So this one, as you can see, is point uh, 0.45. That's nearly half a millimetre high. So I'm going to probe all the way around this table now uh, on each individual section in three different areas. Um, so it's, you know, it's going to take half an hour. So um, I'll get back to you with the, the total results. Okay, so I don't know whether the... it's too much light there, probably. <laughs> yes. Um, okay, the results are in and uh, let me see, over this side of the table here, this particular one, is um, half a millimetre high uh, compared to the zero here. This actual fact is the low... This in actual fact is the lowest point of the table. Um, but uh, there are a couple of areas like on this one here. Uh, this is zero, zero and plus point one back there. So this is fairly flat. Uh, this end here is uh, point four high, zero and point two. So there's a bit of a a dip in that one. We're talking small numbers here really. Um, so what it's actually telling me is to get down to the zero position here we have to skim off um, exactly half a millimeter which is you know 0 0.5. So what I'll probably do to make sure but I do get everything because there might be areas that I, you know, what I haven't probed in between here, maybe a little lower, but I don't think so. Uh, I'll take it down 0 0.6 or 0 0.7 of a millimeter. Um, I don't think it's worth going any further. Uh, I don't want to take too much meat off, you know, the two tie down areas. Um, but the way I've made this bed, it's very easy to replace these, you know. Um, okay, so like I was saying earlier, um, until we get the spindle trammed, uh, you know, we, we can't, can't machine this down flat. Because, uh, you know, I have only put that into tram just with a, a you know, a T-square. And uh, it's not good enough. Okay, so that's the next thing. Um, but what I, what I personally use in conjunction with that uh, DTI gauge is a is a granite slab. I've got a couple of I acquired a couple of granite slabs some years ago, and uh, they've come in very useful. They are extremely flat. Um, that's why people use them. 